Day two of the Kosovo peace talks got underway on Tuesday. The ethnic Albanian delegation has said it will sign the peace deal. That would increase pressure on the Serbs to sign and pave the way for NATO airstrikes if they don't. Security was tight on Tuesday as mediators prepared to focus on the Serbs. Despite international pressure to sign the accord, they continue to dig in, demanding numerous changes to the proposed deal. And on arrival at the Kleber Center, where the talks are being held, Serb President Milan Milutinovic expressed disbelief that the Albanians would sign. Why? Why? We, they will sign something what, what uh, does not exist, so why pressure to us? In Kosovo itself, the Serb offensive goes on. Serb-led government forces are pushing ethnic Albanian rebels deeper into the wilderness, destroying suspected rebel strongholds in their path. Three villages were set ablaze as Serb forces tried to cut links between ethnic Albanian areas. Kosovo Liberation Army troops maintain their patrols, keeping a constant eye on Serb movements. The latest Serb push against them was prompted by the killing of two Serbs and the abduction of a soldier by the KLA two weeks ago. Radical KLA rebels are opposed to any negotiated peace agreement that falls short of independence. They've denounced more moderate KLA representatives who say they will sign the Paris deal. Rejection of a peace accord by the radical factions raises the prospect of further violence. Even if international mediators do convince both Serbs and ethnic Albanians to sign a deal, the future holds no guarantees.